I know you talked about your freshman not playing that way in the season. Today they had 39 points and they had 19 of 21 in a row and 13 in a row. They went up to get some really great moves. What's your thoughts on their performance collectively? What was the first part of your question? That you had said before they had been playing like they're not, you don't they not have not been playing like freshmen. Okay. No, yeah. um, well, you know they 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 did what they were brought here to do. Um, you know, and, and they all I mean, the way our team is composed on any given game night, uh, different people are going to be asked to step up, and you've seen that you've seen that all year. Um, you know, I don't think that the group in the locker. I mean, yeah, you do because someone is a freshman, someone's sophomore, someone's junior, someone's senior. But I don't think the group um, in the locker room looks at our freshman class as a bunch of neophytes. Um, um, you know, they, they work hard, they practice hard, um, they play minutes, and, and I am comfortable when they get on the court, and they are comfortable when they get on the court, and the teammates are comfortable. So, um, today was, was, was Trey. Uh, I thought it was terrific, and, and I mean, you can look at, you know, the lay person look at the box score, maybe they go to, hey, he had 13 points. Um, but the effort and the energy that he gives us on defense <clears throat> is what got us going at, at, at the end of that first half. I don't know what we were down, we were down. Felt like a bunch, um, and then he, he gets us going on defense. And he, he gets over ball screens. He gets back in front of his man. You know, there's, there's not much separation, um, and so that's that's where it all starts. And the points, um, the points are just extra. John, the three point defense. You start giving up four, make and they finish one for seventeen. What was what, what changed there? You know, I, it's they, they made one three in the second half. So that's a team that's <coughs> leading our conference, one of the top in the country, making threes. Um, you know, I, I've said for a couple of weeks now, I feel like, you know, something that we talk about and work on, um, I think our guys were more attentive, finally, um, uh, to, to harder closeouts with your hands up instead of just lollygagging out to the, to, the, to, the defense, to the offensive player. And I think we did a better job. I said this to, to, to you yesterday, I think, or someone yesterday. Um, we have not been being, doing a good job of anticipating what's going to come next. We've been watching the game and then reacting. And I think today, as much as any, especially in the second half, as much as any time, the guys were, were thinking about what's coming next. I think that helped. Yesterday, you mentioned ball moving as being important in terms of defeating their pack line. How did you think you did today? Well, you know, I think if you go back and look at our last game and look at this game, uh, our offense was, the difference is the light years apart. Um, and that we made the extra pass today. The ball moved around. The guys did a very good job of sharing it. We have very good offensive players. Um, and if we move, and we have a threat inside, and we have guys that can make shots outside. So when they move the ball, we're going to end up with good shots. In the last game, and I'm not trying to just put it all on us and take anything away from Xavier, but I mean, it was a series of I throw it to you, you work on your one on one moves. If it doesn't work, you throw it to the next guy. And we didn't have any movement. It was just too stagnant. Today, they did a really good job of just staying with our sets, moving it to the next person, to the next person, and end up with a good shot. And we shot 75% in the second half. Um, and a lot of that was a function of we stayed with it until we got a wide open shot for someone that could make a wide open shot. You said just now about the way you guys are built, different guys are going to have to step up at different times. And obviously, with foul trouble again today, is that last seven minutes and a half, you had a pretty unconventional lineup out there, including three freshmen, Bradley. Instead of just maybe treading water, you guys actually take the lead going to the half. Let's talk about that stretch of the game and just how having to sort of figure out what to do at that at that spot. You know, but I, I don't I don't think we approach this ha having to figure out what to do uh, because everyone, maybe with the exception of BJ, everyone that was in the game has played significant minutes this year, and so we know we have. And then he came in and did his job. I mean, I thought he was he was a presence in there. That that six or seven minutes, I don't exactly how long it was that he played in the first half. Um, I thought he was very good. I thought he was a presence. The kid scored. He had got scored on down one once. A couple, a couple of rebounds he had to come up with. Um, but I thought you know that's that that's his job to get in there and the minutes he had and, and and not be a liability. And I don't think he was a liability today. So you know it, it's we. I don't want this to happen, and we may not be as good of a team as it happens and it happens so often. But we we can sustain foul trouble just because of of our depth, I think. Um, and so not that we want to get in foul trouble to prove that point, um, <laughs> but we can sustain foul trouble. Coach McDermott talked about the difference in the team this year. He felt the team this year was more deep. And also, was there something in practice that you saw that uh, maybe this thing would get turned around? Because 
You talking about both of these gentlemen too, uh, especially you said he had seen Trey in high school play and he wasn't, you know, surprised at all. And then he talked about uh Joshua creating a lot of problems because you gotta put two, three people on him and it took away from some of their defense. So was it something after the Xavier game or just just some maturation of